<laughs> so you're the newest meat on the chopping block. Interesting. You're brave to have come here, an aspiring villain. I wonder. You're interesting, that's for sure. I'm afraid you're going to have to try very hard in order to survive. Unless somehow you make me like you just a bit much. That's one of the beautiful things about being such a villain. Me and my dear dad, we've learned to make things simple, fun. But that doesn't mean we play by the rules. That's the beauty of it. Everything in this world is just mine to play with. I don't want to kill people. I don't even want to hurt them most of the time. I just want to see their reactions, the expressions on their face. Have you ever seen someone the moment their bones break? I live for that. <laughs> maybe you're just as sick and twisted as me. Or maybe you're innocent and you're much better than that. But we'll see why you came here. You won't even be able to hide it. <laughs> you're smiling. Don't tell me you're like me. You're that messed up. That's the best kind of messed up. I'm so excited. I, I, I just want to cut someone up. Don't you just have those feelings sometimes where you just want to do it? You just want to let your tendencies go crazy. And honestly, I don't regret it. It's why I do what I do. After I did in that poor fellow, nobody looked at me the same. You want to know a story? It's a really simple one. I used to go to UA like all the other good little boys and girls. Until one day the League of Villains decided to attack. Well, let's just say Aizawa Sensei managed to stall things with the Nomu long enough that I was faced with a problem. You see, there was that fellow, Tomura Shigaraki. Well, safe to say, he wasn't counting on me, blasting him into oblivion. Even with his Nomu speed, he was just a split second too late. I blasted the poor fellow into oblivion. There were just chunks everywhere. I was covered in it. And... And everyone... Everyone looked at me with such mixed feelings. I can't explain it to you how it felt in that moment. In a way, I... I couldn't stop looking at it. I couldn't tear my eyes away from it, but I didn't know why back then. No. I thought it was just me. I thought it was just my, my guilt or something. But it didn't hit me. Not until later. It was something completely different. And, of course, well, everyone saw that I saved them. The Nomu was out of commission without his fearless leader. We captured the other guy and he was imprisoned. The rest of the villains taken out like that. And guess what I got for it? For saving their lives. They looked at me. Maybe they didn't even mean to. Maybe they had good intention, but they all looked at me with these dead eyes. And the one person I turned to, that I looked up to the most, he refused. He refused to accept me. He... He gave me up with this stupid vision. He looked at me with eyes of pity. Everyone looked at me as either a monster or someone who's pitiful. And you know what that made me do? It made me lose hope. 
Slowly but surely, I tried to ignore it. I tried to believe they'd move on, but no one ever did. And by the time the next accident happened, they didn't understand at all. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Let the innocents die? I had to take the guy out. We were there on a training mission. A training mission. And this muscled maniac came there. Maybe I didn't know how to hold back because of the, the situation with Tomura. But I didn't know what else I could do. Maybe I didn't care to. Maybe I was just a bit deadened to it. And then I saw it again. That crimson splash of color on everything. It all got everywhere. And I couldn't stop staring. The one beside me, they were nothing but a reason. I saved them, but they didn't. They didn't understand. It was then when I started walking. I knew I didn't want to go back to class. I didn't know where I wanted to go. In the end, right before I was about to give up, go on with that mediocre life of getting in trouble, being viewed as some kind of monster. My father, all for one, met me. At first, I tried to attack him. You know, childish tendencies. But he restrained me. And he accepted me. He said what I did was good. That they didn't appreciate it. That I was a hero and they were the villains. I knew it wasn't all completely black and white. But I knew. Damn well. Damn well. From that day. They weren't heroes. Especially not All Might. I used to look up to him. But that all ends today. It all ends with him getting the justice he deserves for abandoning me. And he tried. So what? He still viewed me as a monster just like everyone else. Do you think I can just accept that? No. Maybe now I can. Because I realized it was never something to fear in the first place. It was something to embrace. Father taught me that. That was why he taught me how to use all for one. He taught me that I already had it. And that I have both. All for one and slowly. That old man. Oh, how I want to crush him. All Might is somehow fighting, giving me his powers. Oh, I'm strong, all right. I still have it somehow. But rumor is that... That he gave it to someone else. Somehow he split it up. I've only got half the power I did. But it's still 50%. I just need to find him. And get that old man to tell me who the other half is. Or maybe doing him in would be enough. I don't really care... But you must be wondering why I'm telling you this story. It's because, whether you like it or not, there's no leaving, there's no backing down. You took the summons, my friends, my beautiful little underlings, and you'll undertake the same training I did. Harness those tendencies 
Enjoy your depravity. Enjoy falling into that pit of darkness that everyone thinks is a bad thing. And why? What's so wrong with what I did? Back then, I was still trying to do the right thing according to hero society. I wasn't aware of what they were doing. I wasn't aware of how they were fake. Stain was right. Stain was right all along. Maybe that's why he spared me. When he did, I realized it. Maybe just in my subconscious, but this society has to go down. There's no saving it from within. Not as long as they exist. Worse yet, there's that bastard who betrayed my father. They were business partners, but he chose his side, controlling the heroes. He tried to control all for one, but he couldn't. And that's exactly why. Even though he thought he did. And the partnership remained. Father isn't just some pawn you can control. He always planned to get even. He always planned to fight those in his way because he wants this world to burn so he can rebuild it. He made me his future. Even after they took him, those damned heroes, they still had the nerve to look at me and tell me how I was wrong. How All Might was so good. How I used to be good, too. So then tell me, you scum of society just like me, what would they judge you for? Embrace it. All of that pain, all of that agony, it's your birthright. And as much as I'd like to tell you that you're wrong because it's fun to cut people to bits, I'm not going to. Because honestly, that's not what you're here for, budding villains. You're here to change the world, to watch it burn with me. And if you ever decide to lift finger against me, I'll just have to end you right then and there. Nothing personal, of course. If I enjoy it, it's just a side effect of my training. But those side effects, they just make you a more interesting person, wouldn't you say? Why well, hold back? If society was more carnal, then there wouldn't be fake people who turn on you. When you defend someone, did you know, if I didn't blow that first bastard to smithereens, then my friend would have been disintegrated. They would have died. And that's exactly why I think it should be that way. If you care about something, protect it. If you can. Become stronger, stronger. Do whatever it takes. Anything is fine as long as it's part of your goals. That's it. The ends justify the means. You don't need to do endless carnage and go after people and hurt them just for the fun of it unless you enjoy that kind of thing. Now enough with talking. You... Come with me. You seem especially... I don't know. You got my favor by... Looking so adequate. You're so fleshy and carnal and... I love it. You've certainly got some class about you too. Just like a doll. A doll that I could do whatever I want to. No, I wouldn't dream of actually hurting you, unless you piss me off or give me a reason to. 
Look, you're not safe here, unless I say you are. Do you like that? <laughs> you seem kind of excited. Are you? Is it exciting having no control over your own well-being? Being at my mercy completely? <laughs> ah, I can smell it, you know. I can smell your fear and it's so, so intoxicating. Or is it fear or maybe something else? This control, this relationship I feel like is perfect for us. I can't get enough of it. I can't. And you, doll, oh, you're so damn precious. <laughs> what am I to you, that random stranger you just met who happens to run the League of Villains? Or maybe I'm the psychopath lurking behind you, ready to take this pretty little blade and make things a bit more interesting. See, blades don't always have to do anything bad. It doesn't matter who's wielding them. But they show the truth in people. Like, like Kachan. Oh, he's been after me for so long. It hurts me to think of what I have to do to him someday. Oh, don't even suggest that. Or I might just have to cut you. But I'm... I'm certain, well, you'll understand soon enough. <laughs> you see, Kachan, I wouldn't dare do something as sad as taking him from this world. No. I just need to show him the light, or maybe just incapacitate him so... When it's all said and done, he'll understand. Once it's all burning, he'll see how beautiful it is to see all those screams of the past all fading away. To usher in the new age of a society that isn't fake. Of one where people don't have to worry about those pitying eyes. Those dead eyes that look at you. And all they see is your sin, and nothing else. It's exactly that reason that I have to save Kachan. He always says that he has to save me. He has to take me back to UA and to All Might. But he doesn't realize. They're just full of lies. They're using Kachan. And he blames himself. For something he shouldn't blame anyone for. If anyone's to blame, it's that fake. The fake heroes who looked at me. When I was covered in everything. They pretended to care, but their eyes betrayed them. It was all empty caring. They don't actually think anything of me. I'm nothing more than a pawn to them, a toy. And they thought I couldn't see it. But how couldn't I? When my idol looks at me and doesn't have words after I beg him. I beg him for anything. I think I would have been completely fine if he said, You did the right thing or you're still a hero. But no. Why couldn't he say it? He was my goals, my everything, my hero. And yet there he was, looking at me like everyone else, with those dead eyes. I like to say I was betrayed twice in things. Only two people ever hurt me in that way. My poor mother doesn't understand it. But she never understood father either. There were so many people who said they were my friends. But I didn't realize it. A lot of people try and claim a lot of things. But they don't realize. You can't be someone's friend. 
if you don't accept them for all their faults. And that's when I realized it. Perhaps my very first friends. Well, even Kachan, he wasn't my friend. He was a bully, wasn't he? But I still don't want to hurt him. I feel like his heart was in a good place, but I have to. You know, and if I happen to enjoy it a little, it's not me being bad, right? It's just how things need to be. It's just how things need, need to go. As for you, you've heard enough about me. I want to know about you. Why'd you come here? Did you really think I'd just let everything go? <laughs> You're not a bad person or anything. In fact, I... I favor you. But you've got to understand where you are. You seem almost too innocent to be a villain. But maybe I like that. It gives me so much to work with. Now, whatever I say is your law. Got it? <laughs> so you can be an obedient pup. What a good little puppy. Now, why don't you beg for me to hold you close and not break your bones? <laughs> I could really use a hug right now. <laughs> Despite what everyone thinks of me and my image, I don't really like hurting people. Not ones I care about anyways. It's only the people who make me upset or get in my way. They're the only bad ones. You're not bad. It's okay. You get lots of head pats and cuddles, okay? That way things aren't sad. I guess the reason why I told you my story is so that all my weaknesses are on the table. So you have every possible opportunity to hurt me. Because that way, when we train, you'll have that much more advantage and things might be a little more even. And also, because I genuinely... I don't know. Something about you makes me feel like you might be my new friend. And besides, I, I wouldn't want you to get hurt by my bad tendencies. I promise I'm not all bad. There's a lot of me that's good still. I even... I, look, I just don't think the heroes are honest. They're two-faced. They're not real heroes. Just like Stain said, like I told you. And besides, despite my tendency to hurt those who I believe deserve it, only those who stop what should happen from happening. I believe in you. I can see it in your eyes. You're just like me. You're no psychopath, but you want the good to happen. And you know we need to take it into our own hands. You know we need to take this world down to the rubble, down to the dust. We need to burn it. Burn it all. And yes, I have personal quarrels and things that I have biases too. But I'm not some kind of monster that they think I am. I'm just a little twisted. But aren't we all? Isn't that honesty? Instead of being two-faced about it, I'm honest. I tell people when I hate them. I tell people when I care. I keep my friends close and my enemies in their grave. Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? All this Heroism, nonsense, money, everything. It's all just used to manipulate people into making them think that they're in control of their own lives. But then you mess up one time and the entire order of society goes against you. Your heroes view you as little worms. It's nothing more than something to be stepped on. But why don't we talk about something nicer? Like, why don't we get to know you? I could force you to talk with a knife at your throat, but that's not the kind of person I am anymore. At least, not to anyone but those who deserve it. 
And you don't deserve it, do you, doll? You're a lot better than those other rabble. Those other posers out there, I can see they haven't done anything heinous. But you've got a dirty little secret, don't you? You've done something real bad. <laughs> I love it. You're damaged goods like me. Maybe that's why I saw all the potential in you. I might seem a little crazy, but I'm pretty sane once you get to know me. Besides, Dad'll love you. <laughs> Don't worry. We only turn the worthless ones into Nomus. Kurogiri. Yes, Midoriya. Dispose of them. Make sure they're all useful and recycle them. Get them out of my sight! As you wish, Master. Oh, don't mind that. He just disposes of them. He gives them to Father so he can... No. I keep forgetting the damn all might. You took away Dad. He took away Dad. Then you wanted me to take care of them. That's fine, Kuro Geary. Need I remind you? Your neck's just as susceptible as the rest of them. My apologies. I'll do my best. Uh, well then, I'll, I'll be going. <sighs> Sorry you had to see that. It's just I, I get so angry when I think of what All Might did to my father. He put him away. And I'll just have to rescue him. That's it. I'm a hero. And only heroes can save the day. What am I kidding? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I showed you a side to myself that I... I forgot I had. I'm so used to this madness. To everything that I thought I needed. That I believe I do need. I know what I'm doing is right. It's just it hurts. It hurts to lose my father and one of the few people who care about me. I wonder... What is it that actually brought you here? Sure, I could be like I am to everyone else. I could be cold, I could be cruel, I could be anything. But I... I just can't bring myself to. Because... No matter what I think... I am. I still... Don't want to be alone. And it hurts that... They've taken a lot of my comrades... Just last week, they captured Toga. I wonder where Dobby is. And to think it's been my own problem. All Might, I've heard of what you've done. I bet you gave it to Gachan. That's why I lost power. No, oh, you're right. We'll get those fake heroes. We'll show them what it means to mess with the League of Villains. I refuse to let them win. To let them tarnish what my father worked so hard to build. I admit I used to think villains were evil and heroes were good. But it's never just black and white, is it? Heroes like to take that stance of being above you. Even if you've made a mistake that they've made before, too. Getting carried away. I don't regret it. 
I regret that they couldn't accept me for what I love. I love to save the day. And I also love to watch my enemies fall. Is that so wrong? Sure, maybe I got a little addicted to it. Maybe the second time wasn't quite an accident. But the first time sure was. Why do they have to consider me a villain because of that? I found out as honestly as anyone else. I'm not just some kind of monster. Say, what do you think, doll? Am I just some lost cause? <laughs> You're right. I'm not just a scoundrel. I'm a scoundrel with a purpose. For all my decrepit morals, for all my societal breaking norms, I don't care. You're right, I shouldn't care. I should take out my angst on something. <laughs> I never thought you'd understand me so much. I... I think I've fallen for you. Maybe just a little. Maybe. I don't know yet. But I want to find out. Why don't we go paint the town red? Maybe we'll run into Kachan and I can give him a nice... <laughs> a nice cut in the tendon. <laughs> It was so simple, and somehow I got blind to it. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll go and do something fun. I've got about half the city under my thumb. Anyone who dares to mess with us would be inviting chaos. They'd be lucky to get away without losing their head, if you know what I mean. And I know you do. Now, doll, let's go ahead and get something nice. What is it you want to do? <laughs> I'll show you how things work then. Since you don't really know what you're going to want. No. You're right. We can discuss that boring stuff later. I'd rather give you what's yours. After all, you deserve it. <laughs> A kiss from your fearless leader. <laughs> That expression you have, it's so addicting. Give me more of it. I want to see more of that tinge of fear, that wonderful excitement, that unspeakable feeling. Oh, yes. Just seeing your reactions, it drives me forward. Oh, doll. You're something else, aren't you? You're going to be amazing. I can just tell. You'll show those heroes, won't you? Those fake heroes who abandoned us all. We'll show them together. And if they dare try and capture you. Well, words won't convey how messed up they'll be when I'm done with them. I'll take my time. I'll dissect them real nice. <laughs> Let that kiss be a promise. That from this day forward, we'll commence with everything. Together. I want to see how deep you go. Where we get so close that no matter where one ends, the other begins. Like an infinite circle, 
connecting us like, like we can never be separated. You'll never betray me, will you? I certainly hope not. It'd make me sad to have to break all those bones. It'd make me even sadder to turn such a promising, wonderful person into a mindless nomo. It'd make me the saddest in the world. <laughs> Let's just not think about that. <laughs> It's not like it's the kiss of death, you know. Though you don't seem disappointed. Fine by me. <laughs> oh, babe. You're such an easy one to tease, aren't you? Me just going and kissing you, it seems to have quite the massive effect on what I can see is your heart rate. You know, I adapted to my father's quirk. All for one. It suits me, doesn't it? Absorbing people's quirks who don't know how to use them. I nearly took Kachan's last time, if it wasn't for that... No, I shouldn't go blaming others. I'll get lazy that way. But next time, I'll steal Kachan's quirk and maybe blow off a few fingers. <laughs> you know, if you want me to stop, you just have to say it. I may be pretty ruthless these days. But I'm not a monster. I'd never force something upon you you didn't want. Unless, of course, you're one of the worthless ones. Which I know you're not, so it's okay. You automatically have my respect. Based on today. Based on you being damaged goods like me. Well, there's a lot more to it. I mean, you did come here to help the League of Villains, didn't you? And I'm the acting lead of it. So it'd be a shame if I didn't take care of my new members. <laughs> Besides, the rest of them are just rabble. You're something special. Someday, we could watch them burn together. Maybe you're just as mad as me. And I love it. <laughs> Never stop being insane. <laughs> no, that's not the word for it. A revolutionary Transcendent Paragon Those words matter more And they all fit better too All it takes is a moment of clarity And I can make you All mine I'll cut away all those strings you put on yourself. And I'll make sure you, you're all mine. <laughs> I don't want any room for anyone else because if you even looked at someone else, I'd have to kill them. And that'd be such a waste if it was someone I liked. I would have to apologize or maybe give them a special kind of mercy. And I'm so done with mercy. Especially with those that don't deserve it. But you deserve some. 
I... I need you. Maybe you'll rise the ranks of the League of Villains. Maybe we'll make something even greater. And once my father's back, I'm sure he can give you any quirk you desire. He does spoil me, you know. He's a good dad. But I'm sure that's just gonna bore you. I'm much more interested in if you want me to stop or not. <laughs> Somehow I knew you wouldn't. Just because of who you are. <laughs> Don't blame me if you regret it. Because I might get just a bit <laughs> I'm a bit attached. <clears throat> Just relax. I'll take care of everything. Your neck's pretty tender, you know that. <laughs> Just the way I like it. It's like you're made to tease. It's like you're made to play around with. <sighs> you really are my doll, aren't you? Then we've got to leave a mark. On that sweet neck of yours. <laughs> there. That'll do. Or will it? <laughs> Don't go getting too excited now. It's not like I'm going to do anything crazy. What do you take me for? <laughs> I might be a monster if you want me to be. But I want to hear you. Ask for it. You gotta want it. You gotta beg for me to be your monster. <laughs> Um, as you wish. Don't blame me. Because I can't stop once I start. You're tasty, aren't you? I'm slightly addicted. It's a little concerning, but I don't care. <laughs> Fancy that. No. Where were we? What's the matter? You are just looking so tough. Don't tell me. That's all you can muster. <laughs> it's mighty cute of you. You really are such a doll. Don't get too crazy now. Or I might just get crazier. <laughs> I wonder, how will you react if I make you feel even more embarrassed? Uh. 
well. The way I see it, if you want to stop, we can. But something tells me you don't want to. So maybe I'll give you a lecture. No. Just relax. <sighs> you see us at the League of Villains. It takes a certain amount of finesse in order to... Uh, in order to rule things properly. See, that's it. You can become my second in command if you're lucky. And if you work hard for it. No. This is just training. Nothing more, nothing less. Though, you're pretty good to get me out of breath. It's far more than most could. <laughs> what a mess. Though I guess we're not all prim and proper like those heroes. You know, some of us... I don't miss being a hero. I miss that I can't show them. Everything. <laughs> of course not. <sighs> because it's just training. Maybe I love you, maybe I don't. We won't know till we're done with training. <sighs> What's wrong with that? Do you have a problem with my methods? <laughs> Well then, I guess you'll have to deal with it. Unless you... You want me to... Do something heinous. <laughs> Brace yourself. There's going to be a lot. A lot... Of a lot of things. Not bad. Not bad at all. Actually... <laughs> Eager to please, aren't you? <laughs> you really put up a fight. I'm impressed. You did more than anyone else ever could. And going above and beyond. I like people who clean up their own messes. Besides, it suits you. <laughs> this whole situation suits you. It's perfect. <laughs> Serve under me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you deaf or something? I said serve under me. Remember the part where I mentioned my words are your law? Well, don't forget it. <laughs> As long as you don't, I can treat you like my doll. I can make you into something amazing. I can show you exactly what my dream is firsthand. Don't forget, you'll never be abandoned as long as you're a part of my League of Villains. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? We're all just like a happy family now. I always wanted that. But that isn't so easy sometimes, you know. It's not always just rainbows and sunshine. Sometimes there's, there's gruesome things, you know. And we just have to deal with it until things are solved, you know. It's all really simple, right? At least if we let it be. If we work together, right? We're a team, aren't we? Say yes, won't you? Again, I couldn't imagine it without you now. You're practically begging to be by my side, aren't you? <laughs> That's so adorable. 
Never stop being that cute bean you are. <laughs> it's too amazing. I'm so addicted to you. Now, what's this I hear about you getting your own carried away? <laughs> you must have joined for a reason. And you wouldn't be here if you just wanted to join villains. You must believe in our cause or have something you want. Spit it out. Maybe I can make it happen. Oh, is that all? Something so simple. I like simple sometimes. And maybe it's just right for you. <laughs> we'll see. Won't we? But one thing's for sure. You're my favorite new toy. So don't make me break you. Okay?